Welcome everyone, this is Zon with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to create a material takeoff schedule in Revit. This is as per a user's request. I am running uh, Autodesk Revit 2018.3 right now. And I have a model here and I wanted to create a material takeoff schedule of the concrete, for example, that's in all of these walls. To do so, head over to the View tab of the ribbon. Head over to the Create panel, Expand Schedule, and choose Material Takeoff Schedule. You'll get a dialog box that tells you what do you want to schedule. You can filter this list by discipline. We're going to do the walls, and then the name can be anything we want. We can say Concrete Wall Material Takeoff, something like that. Hit OK and it opens up the material takeoff properties dialog box in here specify the columns of content so for material takeoff schedules you just need to have at least one of the columns that says material quote something so for example the mark the material um, volume the area the description the cost you know anything you want I'm just double clicking and then once you've done this, you can sort this however you'd like. So I would typically do mark, then name, then I would probably do area and volume, and probably cost and description at the bottom. The way this is listed is the first column, second column, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. You can use the filter tab to filter if you need to as well. So say maybe I need to filter such that the material name equals um, in here, concrete cast in place. That way, this material takeoff schedule only shows you the data with this extracted out. Sorting, we can sort however we want. Let's say we sort by mark, and then maybe by name, maybe by area, <clears throat> and then also by volume. Total things out if you need to as well. Head over to the formatting tab, and this allows you to specify the information inside. So, for example, cost can show. Um, Conditional formatting, um, area, no calculations, we can say totals, volumes, we can say totals, cost, um, and so on. So when you're done, head over to the Appearance tab and input things like how you want the line work to appear. And then also for the text, specify how you want the text to appear for the data inside the cells. When you're finished, click OK and it will build a schedule for you automatically which is a view and all you have to do is drag and drop it onto a sheet of paper. You can expand the columns using these lines here. You can't double click like you think in Excel but at least you can do this a little bit and then if you want to you can left click and hold and drag to highlight those and group those if you want to. So we'll just say material math data whatever you want something like that. Okay. And then um, when you're done, drag and drop it onto a sheet. So if I right click, create a new sheet, then I can drag and drop that concrete wall material takeoff schedule right onto the sheet. Once you've done this, it has little grips that you can push and pull to adjust things like how wide the columns are going to be. So there's material name, okay, the uh, material description, the material cost material volume and the area as well okay and then again you can move it if you want to and it's a really long list you can hit this little elbow symbol and break it into and then pull this to make it independent and put it wherever you need and as you click and pull this control area the data will jump from one side to the other since this is a small list I'll just drag it on top and make it a single one now you can see that the font that I chose is really large over here so if I double click the schedule view that's on the sheet it will take me back to the view. I can select this cell in here and I can click font and I can change the font and the size so let's make it a quarter so it's a little easier to read. We can make it bold or italic and make it a different color for example. You can even do shading if you want to and even change the the uh, font if you want to as well. So if I do something silly like this and finish it, go back to the sheet, it'll update accordingly. So this is a quick video tutorial on how to create a material takeoff schedule in Revit. Thank you very much for watching.